What happens here? Well, every time there's a basketball game, this, this room is uh, moving, okay? We have somebody watches the game just looking for plays that the officials may want to review. They're looking for uh, the referee to give the replay signal. They're listening to the broadcast and the scores table who may indicate the referees are going to want to review that. Good, here you go. That person then will yell out to one of my senior managers that we have a replay or a close replay and they will start rewinding the video to find the best, most conclusive angle to show the referees when uh, they go to the scorer's table to look for a replay. The way this was designed, um, it was designed particularly for fans to be able to connect with the game. So when a replay is done, first of all, live, we offer a live shot of the room via a robotic camera. We offer the actual video as it's being reviewed. Do you have camera seven, is that the one? That seems to be the best. So you can actually look in on the room, watch the replay being conducted, and watch the video of the replay as it happens. Immediately thereafter, we post it on the website, so it's available if you want to go back and refer to it. This room gives us um, the opportunity to give the referees the best tools to make the correct decision on the court. So, you know, we, we can, for example, on a 2-3 shot where the player's foot is close to the line, we, can, we have a touch screen that we can touch by the person's feet, and then we zoom in right to the feet and the line to give them the best angle. Is that better than the other one? Okay, then put that one first now. All of our research indicates that the millennials definitely want transparency. They say if it's there, if, if you're doing it, let me see it, let me understand that. So we're answering that call, but we're also answering the idea that we want to let fans see how hard our referees work to get calls right, and the fact that we're providing our referees with the very finest tools so they can get their calls right. To me, that's a great angle to show them. It's great when we can show the fans exactly what we are showing the referees, and they can make the same call. Uh, many times, obviously, during productions, you know, TV is showing a replay at home before the refs even get to the scorer's table. So many times the fans know before the referees do uh, what, what the ruling is going to be afterwards majority of the time. But, you know, it is transparent. You know, they can look in the room and see what we're doing, what we're showing. Um, you know, the broadcast, they can show exactly what we're showing to the referees, plus the room. And same in arena, which, um, you know, having been in the arena many a times, when they show the replay of what the refs are looking at, it's pretty exciting when you're in the arena to see that. The one thing that I am missing that I'm looking for, that I'm working on, is ball tracking immediately, uh, having the information available immediately for ball tracking. Because then, one of the most difficult calls that referees make is goaltending. So, you, so the ball, you have to understand exactly where the ball crested and started to come down. Because as soon as it starts on its downward mo motion and it's swatted away, then that's goaltending. If the ball's ascendant, it's not goaltending. So the piece that I'm looking for, that I'm working on, is, 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 a, is a ball tracking system that can give me immediate information. My dad was one of the original NBA refs in 1946, so you know, I, I have a little bit of the old time history. So, I mean, he'd be turning over in his grave now if he could see a replay center, what we do here. But, you know, you have to keep up with the times. And, you know, today it's everything is instantaneous. So um, it's necessary to keep getting better and improving. If you do not improve, then you're becoming old. So you, you have to constantly be changing as the sport change, as the fan base changes. And we, hopefully we're doing that with the replay center.